the triangulation. The survey is almost ready for to form a triangulation from the tenable data that is displayed in the view. Firstly, we're just going to ensure that all the models are turned on in view 1. And we're just going to close down the survey reductions toolbar. So to do this, we just put our cursor up to the start of the toolbar, drag it down into the graphics, and select the X to close it down. Right, so we'll just zoom all. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check for crossing break lines. So prior to forming the triangulation, we need to check for any overlapping break lines. If not corrected, these will cause errors in the triangulation. Coloured diamonds can be created around the errors along with a report file. We select the option Tins, Check Clash, Check Break Lines. We select the view icon and select view 1. It's going to be able to check a number of things so at this stage we're just interested in the crossing break lines. So we're just going to type in in, in lower case X break lines. We're going to leave the file format as 12D report format. Again, we can type in X break lines for the report file name. Pressing enter will give it the extension .rpt. We're going to create a color for the crossing break line, so we'll just use magenta. And we tick each of the checkboxes and select create. Right, so the report file comes up and what we're looking for under results is that it has found an intersection. So we can close the report file down. Just place this down off the screen for the moment because we will come back later and recheck once we've corrected the data. And if we go to our plus button and turn on the model X break lines. Now if there's only one crossing break line, um, it's usually fairly easy to see. Um, if you can't see it, you can actually zoom into a model. So if we select the menu button, walk right on zoom and select by model. We can then pick the model from the from model list and select zoom. We can finish on that and now it's zoomed into where our crossing break line is. So this was if we only really had um, one crossing break line. Okay, so what's happened here is it's created a diamond around the error. And if we zoom in nice and close, you'll see that we have a line crossing. There are a number of ways of fixing this. What we're going to do here is simply make this string, the north-south string, pass through that point. So to do this, we use the toolbar, which is... CAD vertex and we use the option insert. Here we pick the string running north south and accept and then we pick on the point at the end of the other string and accept. So now the actual string passes through that exact point. We can then recheck for crossing break lines and it's very important to make sure that you have clean models beforehand ticked and click check again, replace the file and this time there is no errors. Also you'll see that there's no diamonds on the screen. Okay we can finish this option. The next step before triangulation is to delete any empty models. So these are models that in the view that will be put into the triangulation model list and if we were to delete them later and reapply the triangulation, an error would occur saying that they can't find the model. So it's a good idea to delete them first. So we use the option Models, Delete, Delete Empty Unlock Models. We select Delete All and then Finish. So if we go to our Minus button, we're just left with our survey models and plus button there'll be nothing there. Okay so we're now we're going to perform the triangulation. 
To do this we select tins, create, triangulate data. The retriangulate function we will type in tin space ground enter. The tin name will be ground enter. We only have to have preserve strings ticked. We go to the data tab and the data to triangulate will, will be view 1 so we'll click the view icon and select view 1. Now generally you should always have a boundary around the edge of your survey to limit the extents of the triangulation. Here we're going to create the boundary after we've edited the triangles. So we select the nulling tab and we're simply going to tick on apply nulling and we're going to set a preliminary length of 50 meters for us to create the triangles. Okay so we click triangulate and if we just move the panel over to the right and we'll go to our plus button and turn on tin ground. Okay so you see that it's created the triangulation but we need to actually go and fine tune the edges. Sometimes it's hard to see which is a triangle and which is a line, whether it lines underneath the triangles. So what we do is we select the option view, send tins rasters to back and click on that. And then you'll see that you can see where there was actually a string on the same line as the triangle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out some triangles around the edge of the survey that we wouldn't normally have in the survey. So there's a number of ways of doing this. We're going to select the option tins, null by strings. And this will allow us to actually drag through a triangle and have it deleted. So the tin name is ground. We use a string, we tick on null on accept of string, we right click on the string pick icon, we pick on the third icon for polyline. Okay, we're going to start over on the top left. So these two triangles here aren't supposed to be in the triangulation. So we hold the left button down and we drag through and release. We then click the middle button to confirm and you'll see that the triangles have disappeared. Now it stays inside the option so what we do is zooming out and zooming in we're just going to work our way around drag middle click to delete and we're going to move around the survey taking out any triangle that shouldn't be in the process. So zooming in and out maintains the option, so you try to avoid using the pan option. And we're taking out any triangle that was not correct. Okay. Once you're happy with the edge of the triangulation, we can click on your toggle button and select tin solid. Now this is important to check that you haven't accidentally deleted some triangles. So, so for example I dragged in there and I accepted. Without the actual tin solid on, you wouldn't be able to tell that there was a problem. So by toggling on tin solid you can see there's an issue. To fix this up you can simply go to tins null by points. So this is another alternative where you can just do it by point by picking inside triangles. We select the tin which is ground and we're going to change the null mode to reset. So here we click pick. We pick in the middle of the triangle to restore and accept. Once we're happy with the triangulation, we can finish on the null triangles by points and the null triangles by string panels. We can click on the toggle button and tick on T 
tin solid to go back to our triangles and we're now going to create a boundary so we select the option tins boundary boundary we pick the tin which is ground we pick the model for the boundaries I'm just going to pick the tin model and then press spacebar and then BDY at the end and select create if we go to our plus button and turn on that model tin ground boundary you'll see that there is a string wrapping around the edge of the triangulation we can now finish this option and the reason we left the retriangulate tin option open is we can now go and tell it it has a boundary so if we go to the nulling tab we clear out any of the previous parameters we had we tick on the null polygon icon we then pick on the string ensuring that we make sure that we pick the boundary string and accept and select retriangulation so now the triangulation whenever we update it will automatically know where the boundary is we will now look at some ways of checking the triangulation firstly we can view fast contours so if we select the toggle button and select tin contours we can see that the contours here can be used to check for any errors in the slope of the ground we can also change the contour increment by selecting the properties button selecting tin settings and changing values colors and so on if at any stage we need to re-triangulate the tin it was set up as a function so in the recalc panel we can walk right on recalc and double click on tin ground and the triangulation updates a good way to view the triangulation is to use a perspective view so down the bottom we're just going to select our view 3D and in this view we're going to add all the models so we click on the plus button and click on add all you'll see a shaded view of the survey you can simply click on the screen and using the wheel to roll in and out to rotate around we use the orbit button then you can simply hold the left button down and then keeping the left button held down move the mouse to be able to rotate around to pan left or right you just use the middle button and to stay stationary and look left and right if you just hold the right button down and then you can then move left and right so your eye position stays where it is and you're simply just looking around section views okay now we're going to look at a section view so we're going to select the section view LS and we're going to place this on the right hand side so we use the, the controls button and select right half and then we click back on plan view 1 and set the controls to the left half in the section view we're going to turn on the model tin ground if we zoom in near the road here we can then click the profile icon in our section view and pick on the road center line and you'll see a profile of the actual road if we zoom in to point 2056 which is basically where we will see a pipe going across the road and in our section view if we turn on the model drainage as we move into this area you'll see an ellipse shape now we'll change our vertical exaggeration to two times and what we're seeing here now is the actual pipe under the road in the left hand side you'll see the cursor moving along the center line 